ZBrush 2023 just released, and I think Maxon hates us. Or at least some of us. Now, that's not hyperbole or me being a drama llama baby mama. But before we tackle that issue, let me tell you a story. So in 2010, I got my first tattoo. I was super excited and I'd been planning for months. I had an idea sketched out, so I headed to the local tattoo parlor. My tattoo was two inches wide and it would wrap all the way around my bicep. And the estimate that they gave me was $800. I wish I could say it was because of my big biceps, but... That's not the case. So I went down the street to another place and their quote was 200 bucks. So why was the first place so darn expensive? Either they didn't like me or they didn't like the design, but it was very clear that they did not want to do it. They jacked up the price. So if I were stupid enough to actually go through with it, they would be paid handsomely for their time. And this is exactly what Maxon has done. It costs $895 for a perpetual license of ZBrush. It will then cost $659 to upgrade from ZBrush 2022 to 2023. Now, I'm no farmer, but I know what bullcrap smells like. Keep in mind, this will be the price for each upgrade. So, are you interested in ZBrush 2024? Well, guess what? You are paying another upgrade price. So, take a look at this. If I wanted to upgrade ZBrush every year, it's actually cheaper to pay for a yearly subscription. The yearly subscription for ZBrush comes in at $359 a year. Now, to me, this just screams, mm, we don't really like the fact that you're not subscribed, so we're just going to punish you and force you into subscription anyways. So if you want to see other features that you will be missing in ZBrush 2023, watch this video.